Hey, in this video, we're gonna be discussing my medium first aid kit from Blue Ridge Overland Gear. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Robert with Sherburn Outdoors. Today we're talking first aid kits. All right, so if you've been watching my channel over the last year, you know I've been killing myself. I had shoulder surgery where I crushed my clavicle while riding dirt bikes. I ended up uh, having a big tear in my MCL, also from riding dirt bikes. And then I do a lot of overlanding, which causes a lot of nicks and bruises and cuts. And so I thought it'd be a good idea to uh, you know, talk about what's in my first aid kit. This has evolved over the years pretty heavily. You know, it started off as just using these little simple ones that I would buy at Walmart that had some band-aids and some little things inside of it. But over time, I wanted to evolve that, and, um, and you know, this year I did. I love these Blue Ridge Overland Gear bags. They are just so well put together. And uh, as you've seen in other videos, I have their tool kits, their cook kits. I use their gadget bag to hold all my electronic products. And this is the 8x12, so this fits perfectly behind the rear driver's seat of a Jeep Gladiator. It, it ideally fits in there, it doesn't jiggle around because it is made out of mesh. You're not hearing a lot of banging and clanking if there's any gaps in there. I'll tell you what, let's flip around the camera and let's look at what's inside of this great bag. Having a first aid kit is, you really need them to fit what you need them to do. We're not performing surgery or any of that stuff out there, so I don't have tourniquets or all that other. I've got a simple first aid kit. Now again, this is the Blue Ridge Overland Gears 8x12. It's got some molly built into the front of it. It's got a nice uh, Velcro patch on the front where you can add additional bags. It's got some uh, additional strapping here on the bottom. It's got a single handle. And then I did add an ID patch, ID patch from uh, Blue Ridge Overland Gear. Got these great YKK zippers with these pulls. Very high quality. Let's just go ahead and open it up and take a look inside. I've got the one with the four inch by 12 inch pockets. I've got four of them built into all the sides here. And uh, let's just open it up. First things first that I carry, <laughs> I'm still in the pandemic it feels like, carry a bag of masks just in case we need it. And then I've got some sterile gloves just in case. I've got a couple pairs in here. I pretty much keep everything in Ziploc bags. Everyone has their own preference when it comes to first aid kits. Some are really complex, some are not. I've seen some crazy stuff where guys have chest wound kits and everything else, tourniquets. Again, getting back to my goals, I do ride a lot of dirt bikes and I do a lot of overlanding and, and you know, my kids, uh, some of them are still in sports, but most not. So this is just your kind of your everyday first aid kit. It's, uh, we're not, again, not gonna do surgery, not gonna do amputations, but we're gonna do regular stuff. So let's go through it. So I love these kits from them. They are very universal. Again, I got four kits, uh, four bags in here. You can see through them. If you want to, you can label them, but they just pop right out when you need it. And I also went with the red bag. You can get these in different colors, but I wanted to be able to say, hey, go get the first aid kit. It's the red one, just in case I needed to do that. So these, uh, just like the front, they have these great zippers. And each of my bags has a variety of things inside of it. Starting off, and it's, it may not be first day, but I do carry sunscreen. We've got, this is kind of my pain relief bag, you might say. I've got a whole variety. I've got uh, Pepto-Bismol, just in case we're out. I've got some uh, motion sickness from Bonine. Got a whole bunch of Tylenol. Got some Advil. Got some Tums. Uh, got some Aleve, and then, uh, you know, we got a cold pack in here, got some dental floss, got some neo Neosporin, some Benadryl uh, rub, just in case we get bit by something, stop the itching, and then just some, you know, your, your basic Q-tips. But these are great bags, they hold all this stuff inside of it, and so that's, that's kind of my first bag of what, what's included in there. Next, as we kind of move down the list, it gets, uh, well, you know what, let's open up the, what I call the Band-Aid bag. This is probably the one that's used more than anything, and I keep a whole variety of different Band-Aids. From your regular sizes, and I do keep a bunch of them, to ones that are big and fat, to ones that are kind of a little bit of both. Again, some more, a whole variety of small, large sizes, some flexible ones, and then I always keep a couple extra bags inside of here. And so, I love having a Band-Aid bag, everything's inside of there. Again, when you're out on the trail or you're overlanding or you're, you're making fires or you're running into stuff on a dirt bike, this happens a lot. 
where you cut some things up and then you can also put some neosporin in there to make sure that we're good to go. Taking into effect having these when you go out, being able to clean these. So I got another bag that's just really about bleeding and cleaning. So this is a first aid spray that you can come out and, and clean the thing out. You can get a little bit more detail with iodine, but you know, again, I'm not doing sutures or any of that stuff out on the trail. So I keep some spray. I keep a bunch of cleaning wipes to wipe things out. And then if it's really, really bad, I do keep a bleed stop uh, in here as well, um, just in case if it won't stop bleeding. So that's our basics for, for what I would call the bleed kit. And then the last bag, and again, this is, a, this is my, not meant to be a complex video, it's just you know, what's in my bag, is this is where I keep the gauze and the tape. So I keep a variety of gauzes, so these come in various sizes, non-stick uh, non pads, and then bigger ones too, just in case it is cut. Now I have used these where I've fallen off the bike, and I've really got some large abrasions where a band-aid's not gonna cut it, and in that particular case, I do need some some larger tape to go around the press. And I've got this in a whole bunch of different sizes, as well as having keeping our scissors inside of here. That's my kit. That's everything that's inside of it. It's, it's super easy. Well, gang, with that said, this is, this is my kit. You know, again, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not doing surgery. I'm not doing sutures. I'm not cutting legs off. This is just your basic first aid kit that I utilize when we're out on the trail with the bike here, and also when we're overlanding and camping and I'm out either, either solo with my friends or my family. And this is the one that works for me, and I am a big, huge advocate of these Blue Ridge Overland Gears. They didn't sponsor this video, but hey guys, if you're listening, love the sponsorship, love your products. Hey, I wanna thank everybody for their time. Hey, if you got a lot of value out of this video, go ahead and click that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and click that bell to be notified when I got new content and videos available. Thank you for your time. Everybody have a great day.